see him in action, you would never guess that Seattle Sounders' Sana Nayasi has had malaria twice. Yeah, it's common to get it twice. I think some people can get it more than twice. If you go to some African communities, you will see that everyone has it. Everyone has malaria. It determines life on a grand scale. My twin brother, he also had malaria before. One of the, the big problems facing uh, people trying to control malaria out in the field is that the parasites are becoming resistant to many of the, the drugs that we now use to treat the disease. In the 90 minutes it takes to play a soccer match, 42,000 people will contract malaria. This is about a million people die each year of malaria. Every day, researchers at Seattle Biomed and their partners strive to eliminate the world's most infectious diseases. Right now, Seattle Biomed is working with Sana Nyasi and the Seattle Sounders to promote greater awareness of strategies to stop malaria. And it's a parasitic disease, so it's a very complex organism. It's transmitted by mosquitoes, so there's a third player in this whole game. You'll need drugs as well as vaccines as well as mosquito control measures to, to combat malaria. One of the key breakthroughs was sequencing the malaria parasite's genome, done by a team that included Seattle Biomed's Malcolm Gardner. And the genome sequence basically gave us a parts list of the malaria parasite. Seattle Biomed has used that parts list to create an investigational vaccine that targets the malaria parasite's weak spots. That vaccine has provided complete protection in mice. So the next stage is now to test the human form of this vaccine in humans, and we are in the process of doing this. Imagine a world free from the threat of infectious disease. Now that's a great goal. 